Marathon Fest that we have going on at Jack's Abbey parking lot today um, is an event for the community. It's really not to draw people away from the marathon, um, but it's just something going on in the background. Hey, you, you walk down here, you parked here for the day, watch the marathon, you're looking for something to do downtown for AMM, come down here with Jack's Abbey, hang out, meet some vendors, meet some exhibitors, local organizations, um, and just have some fun, some flair to the environment, add some uh, culture and community um, down to the marathon, um, adding to what the success of it has already brought to downtown Framingham for over a hundred years and what we can uh, continue to build upon. Today we are out spreading the word about our program. We match children from eight years old all the way through high school with adult volunteers in the community. Um, it is just four hours a month to spend time with someone just so children can have a positive role model, that one-on-one -on -one undivided attention, just spending time in the community. Um, with our high school kids, it is a goal-oriented program, so people will help students set and achieve goals. And we are just trying to spread the word and get children off of our wait list. I'm a staff member and I'm also a big, just because I believe that investing in children and youth is the most important thing we can do for our future, for our community. Um, I think when we uplift children and give them that's the support that they need, I think it's a positive effect for everybody. And for me, um, I'm a mom of a little, so he was a part of the program before I was even involved um, as a staff member. So, you know, the community gave back to him and I'm giving back to the community in a sense. So it's, it's full circle for me. So I'm Catherine Hoy. I'm with um, Edward M. Kennedy Community Health Center. Uh, we're in Worcester, Framingham and Milford. And in Framingham, we're right on Waverly Street. So they're running by us on um, the marathon route. Uh, we wanted to come out today to show support to all the runners. We have medical, dental, optometry, pharmacy, everything you need under one roof. Uh, we like to say we're a one-stop shop for our patients so they don't have to go uh, run around everywhere else to get their appointments done. But yeah, so that's us. My name is Valerie King. I'm with the Greater Framingham Community Church. And what we are doing is we're partnering with the Massachusetts Health Commission so that folks can continue their benefits or extend their benefits over since the COVID uh, funding is ending. And so we have literature in five different languages so that anybody who comes through the community today can stop at our table and we can get them signed up by giving them a phone number which they just call and they give their information. So when it comes in May, they'll have their benefits automatically extended. And if they end before they can get, then what we do is we will help them get the extension. Flair Foundation is a nonprofit we have. Uh, our focus is really to just bring the game of soccer, specifically street soccer, to all different communities. You know, our, our motto is kind of anywhere and everywhere. And just set up music, set up the goals, bring the ball, and let the kids play for fun and for free. In the U.S., there's a lot of um, costs behind kids playing youth sports. So we wanted to branch out and also start a nonprofit where we can give back to the community and give access to kids that sometimes get left behind just because of financial circumstances. We have boys and girls of all ages, as, as young as three years old, all the way up to the 18 and 19 year olds. And we also uh, were happy to have some of the the older players that have played with us and now are in college coming back in a coaching program that we have also offering them the opportunity to now have a job in the in the sport that they love. Hi, I'm Lisa Slavin. I'm the Associate Vice President for Enrollment Management at Mass Bay Community College. Um, we are one of 15 community colleges here in the state of Massachusetts. And we have three campuses. We have one in Wellesley, we have one right here in Framingham, and in Ashland. And we're really excited because we are very close to being done with our brand new Framingham campus that will open later this year and open in January 2024 for classes on the corner of Mount Waite and Franklin Street. Julie Ginn is part of the um, organization that put this on today. Um, and you know, it's important that we are participating in events here in Framingham because we are part of the community. So Liz Cooper, who works at Mass Bay, um, she is running today. It's her first marathon ever that she's running and she'll be going by shortly, we're tracking her. And she's running and collecting donations for our food insecurity scholarship for our students. And she's already hit her goal. Um, she's over $10,000, so we're super excited to cheer her on today.